Hey everyone, my name is Erica from Beach Babe Soapery and today, well, we're gonna make a Tumblr. I had a request from one of my Tumblr groups, groups that I'm in to demonstrate how I made this cup here. I absolutely love the way the Tumblr turned out and yeah, I'm excited to show you how I did it. So this is a technique that I saw on YouTube. So I didn't come up with it, but I'm going to show you how I did it. All right. So what you're going to need, obviously, is your prepped tumbler. I prep them. I sand them. Then I use acetone to clean off the dust. And then I use a white paint, spray paint, and I coat it and I let it dry overnight. You want to make sure the paint's really dry before you apply the alcohol inks. So, with that being said, you need alcohol inks. Um, I generally like to stay with three colors. If you get too many, it kind of gets muddled and starts to mix and looks kind of wonky if you ask me. So, the colors that we're going to use today is Wild Plum from, let's see, oh, Ranger. Okay, I'm going to say this. I usually no i always make soap videos <laughs> so i'm a little struggling here to remember that i'm making tumblers today so the colors that we're going to use today are wild plum by ranger mermaid also by ranger these are all obviously alcohol inks and then coral by the same company. Let's see if I can get you in the focus. Focus. No? Okay. We are, we are also going to need the cup on a stand. I'm using actually my turner as a stand. You can use whatever is going to prop your cup up and you can turn it as you go. Um, you're going to need a cardboard box or something to catch the mess because it will get messy. So I just happen to have this Amazon box that fits the tumbler and cup and everything perfectly. So I'm like super ecstatic, ecstatic to use it. You're also going to need some sort of condensed air. You can obviously buy condensed air in a can like this that has a straw, which is really nice. Uh, you can also use an air compressor. I have one for my bath bombs that I use. I was going to use it today, but it's kind of noisy. So just going to go with the canned air. You're going to need some sort of sealant. You're going to seal this before you apply your epoxy. You don't want to have any chance of it smearing. What I like to use as a sealer is Kodod Aquanet. Yes, I like using Aquanet as a sealer because I, well, honestly, I'm lazy. I don't feel like going outside 10,000 times a day. I already have to do that with my dog. I don't want to have to do that with my tumblers. So, Aquanet it is. I can spray it inside and it smells good. All right. <laughs> I think we're ready to get started. So what, how I do this is when I start my drips, I start them here in the middle band and then I move my way down and you'll see why in just a moment. And I usually start with the darker color because when you run alcohol inks on another alcohol ink, it kind of moves it out of the way. And I just kind of, I just like using the darker and then moving to lighter in the foreground. Again, you'll see why in a few minutes. So this is going to be fun because I have my camera stand right next to me. So hopefully we can get this done. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a drop. And as soon as you drop it, you're going to blast it with air. And I'm going to do another drop. Oh. Just like that. And you're going to turn your cup. You could probably do this while the turner is going, but that's just way too much for me at one time. So I'm, I'm just going to shift it back and forth like I just showed you. Now, if you don't want the strings that tall, just do a 
quick little blast. I really enjoy the long streams of color. I think they're so cool. So let's see. And just let it do its own thing. Don't be too worrisome about how it's turning out, what's going on. Best case scenario, use 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol, wipe it clean. The main thing is, if you're using the condensed air like this, you want to keep your finger on the trigger because you got to blast this as soon as it hits. And I like to get close, and it kind of gives you that ombre look right there. So I'm going to do another... Nope. Oh. Uh, a reason I suggest using an air compressor, um, I haven't tested it out. I'm assuming it works because these get expensive. It's nice and cold. These get expensive and you go through them pretty quick. So alternatives and cheaper ways of doing things are, is always awesome. So. Let's move on to the, what is it, mermaid we have going on? Yes. I just keep going round and round and round and this is where it starts to get really fun is when you start mixing the colors in like this And you just keep building up the colors, building up the layers. It's a little blue drop there. So now I'm going to move on to the coral. The first time I did this technique, I wasn't thinking whatsoever. And I was like, oh, I'm really excited. I have to try that technique right now. So I prepped the cup, did everything, put it on my turner, and I was in front of my computer and I was spraying and having a good old time and it was so much fun. And then I looked at my hands and I'm like, oh, I'm awful speckly. Then I looked around at my, basically in my entire area, including my computer screen. It was covered 
and alcohol ink splatter. So this is why I, I highly suggest the box. I'll show you the inside of the box when I'm, when I'm done. So when you have runoff like this, you want to chase it and keep blasting it with air. Whoop, that's the blue. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, it's all good though. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a dab of purple in that area. So now I'm just, now that I have that top row started, I'm just going to grab whatever color and keep on spraying away. So I left a lot of white space behind the streams up here because I really wanted the detail. But as I'm moving down, I'm not going to be too concerned with that. I'm going to try to actually fill this in more. Hopefully, I'm running out of air. And as you can see, as because you're working from top to bottom, the streams are actually cutting away from the top blobs, sprays, whatever you want to say. So it's still giving you that detail. That's kind of why I, well, that is why I work from midsection back. Because if you work back to front, the blobs that you're putting here would wash away and smear the streams that you have above it.
going to do a couple more blotches with the blue. Now you don't want to cover it 100% because you'll lose a lot of that detail in the spritz and sprays. So I'm going to, I think this is pretty good. So now we got to work on the bottom of the cup. Let me get my, I think this would be okay. doing a little balancing act here. So, how you do the bottom is, is the same way. Um, I'm going to start with the darker color, which, is be, which would be the purple. And I shoot straight down. You chase those streams. And the bottoms I kind of like to make real solid. one is done I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour and then we'll come back seal it let that dry and then we'll put epoxy on it check out the inside of the box this is why it needs to be inside of a contained area because this would have been all over the place so yep that's my turner let's see if it's I have this one Turner. I love it. All right, we're back. I sealed it. I did get a little too close to my sealant and it smudged right here. And that's totally cool. It's going to be covered up with uh, an opal glitter anyway. So that's really not going to be noticeable. If it was just this, I'm like, ah, I don't know what I'm going to do. But for what I'm doing now, what it's going to be, how it's going to turn out, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. So I mixed up my epoxy and the epoxy that I'm using today is Tumblr epoxy. Well, uh, the epoxy I'm using is Tumblr epoxy by Babs Designs. I joined their Tumblr group uh, a couple weeks ago and that's where I shared the original cup and everyone's like, oh, let's, you know, show a tutorial. I'm like, okay, so here we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the epoxy and it's going to be a relatively thin coat because I'm going to add an opal over this. And that's how I got that effect. I absolutely love opal glitters because you can really cut corners and cheat and like get a lot of stuff done quickly because, you know, opals are a see-through kind of glitter. So you can spray the can, all kinds of crazy colors, use one glitter, and then you have like this crazy cool tie. You, you can do a lot with opals, let's put it that way. Uh, I am looking for a piece of paper. Using that piece of paper to catch my glitter. What I have off to the side is my little space heater. That it warms up my cup. It's going to pop all the little air bubbles that might appear or might happen in my uh, epoxy before I apply the glitter. So I also use it to warm up my, my epoxy while I'm stirring it. Also to warm up my hands if it gets a little too chilly. But it's been summer, so definitely not chilly right now. So, let's get started again. Now, if you can see this, I have quite a bit of micro bubbles. And that's okay. I'm not going to worry about them right now. I'm not going to try to pop them. 
they're going to be taken care of in a few. So, and I'll leave links to everything down in the description box below. So please check that out. And if you want to see any other type of tutorials, yeah, just leave me a comment and now I'll uh, see what I can do. And it goes on, this epoxy goes on like so easy. The original cup I had painted, prepped and painted for over a year and it just sat on my turner. I did nothing with it. I just didn't know what to do because, well, I couldn't find an epoxy that I could use. I bought several and they just, one crystallized. One, they just were not working for me. Like I said, one crystallized in the bottle before I can even use it. I'm like, <gasps> And I, I just got broken hard and I'm like, I gave up for a while. So, but I'm back doing tumblers and this one's been working out really well. Keeping the heat, uh, space heater on my cup is really helping popping, helping with popping the bubbles as I'm working. And I'm going to do a, a relatively thin layer, not super thin because the opal isn't fine. It's a little bit bigger than fine. My thing is the bigger the glitter, the thicker the coat. And it's kind of a rule of thumb I've been sticking to. And I go super slow when I apply my epoxy or I'm painting the cup. This is my zen. This is totally out of my norm of things I do. Uh, like I said before, I make soap and it can be intense sometimes. Uh, and hey, check out my, uh, my channel, my other videos. If you want to learn how to make soap or if you just want to watch someone make soap, eh, pretty entertaining. If I do say so myself. <laughs> so I just keep on moving it along, moving it around. I think I mixed up 20-ish mLs of this epoxy. Oh, um, one tip I forgot to mention, I did warm up my cup with the little space heater guy sitting next to it, next to it as it was just spinning, waiting for me to apply the epoxy. I had the heat machine, heat machine, <laughs> space heater, tabletop space heater, that's the thing, uh, sitting there just warming up the, the metal. So I feel like that helps spread the epoxy as well. And it's not you know, so much heat and it's not so much heat, like a heat gun really blasts the heat and it's, it's, it's a good distance away. There, now it's all nicely coated. Time for the bottom. So I feel like I got everything covered. There's such a good shine with this epoxy that it's 
a little tricky to see like the air bubbles unless there's just not an air bubble in. And then you can see, I didn't, I mean, I got a decent thickness to this coat and I still have quite a bit left. So let me, I have a little mermaid tail mold that I keep off to the side here. Let's see. I'm going to pour some uh, glitter into my epoxy and then I'm going to pour my epoxy into my mold. Ooh, yeah. Let's do this guy. So, side note, this glitter is not going on this cup. This glitter is going into the mermaid mold. This glitter is from AB Design Co. My girl down in Largo. Fabulous selection of glitters. I'm super excited that I get to drive down and pick out my glitters right from her store. I'll leave a link and address down below in, my, in the description box. So, let's see here. I'm going to let this spin and let the heat do its thing and pop all those bubbles if there's any. And I can see that it's doing its job. Let's see if I can get you guys in here while I mix this glitter up. Isn't that just pretty? Oh, love it. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the rest of this into my mermaid tail mold. And I think we're going to add teeny tiny little magnets to this. And then send these off as magnet gifts for my soap customers. Okay, so let's get this cleaned up and move to the side. My hand cleaned up a little bit. Actually, I guess I can just take my glove off at this point. So, we are going to be adding an opal glitter so this shines through. The opal glitter that I am using today is Queen by Feather, Be Feather Bear Bling. Excuse me. Um, it's been a while since I bought her glitter and I don't know if she still sells this. She could. Check it out. Let me know in the comments if this is still available because I have to buy like pounds of this glitter. So we are going to be doing the fun part now. Woo. Change this paper out. On to the next step, the glitter. And I'm sure you guys know how to do this part, but I'm gonna show you anyways, cause it's fun. So because I'm at a funny angle and I'm working around the camera, I'm gonna shimmy the glitter this way. Typically you'd go that way, but I'm going this way this time. And you wanna do a, like, a, obviously you're gonna do a thin layer of glitter. And you're going to just cover it. Yeah, I just realized that the little space heater, desktop space heater, is blowing the glitter everywhere. Ah! Oh my goodness. There's going to be glitter for days around here. Okay, I gotta turn this guy off. Okay, now I can work.
All right. So I got the easy part done. Now the time to do the hard part is get the glitter on the bottom of the cup while it's spinning. Can y'all see me? Let's back you up just to test, see if you can watch the magic happen. I just stay in one spot and let the cup do the work. Cool. Looking good. Well, there you have it. It's all a spark. Oh, let me put my glitter back. I just realized this is like, oh, I'm just going to end the video and be like, hey, see you later without putting this back. And see, it doesn't take much. You save a lot of glitter and a lot of time and a lot of like, ah, you know, with doing this technique. Opals are fabulous. For this reason okay don't breathe on the glitter <laughs> i had a piece of glitter stuck to the side of my nose for like three days after doing the other cup oh goodness all right got it got it all in there so now I have plenty to do at least two to three, maybe even four more cups with this technique. And now, there you have it. It's pretty much all done. What I'm going to do as a final step is, this is what I do with all my cups. Well, all the cups, yeah. Took a little break on those, but I'm back. What I'm going to do, and what I always do, and it's very important, is I hold a paper towel and I smush the glitter down away from the edge of the cup. It gives it a clean look. I don't mind the paint showing if it shows a little bit. It cleans up the epoxy and it helps create a better seal at the rim and it catches any epoxy that may have dripped on the inside there you go i touched it see i touched it with my bear because there's nothing there now i'm just making sure that none of the glitter is poking past the rim because it just gives it a, a oddball texture. So I'm going to let this spin for a bit, maybe 30 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to like bat all of the glitter down. I'm not going to do it right now because you're just fighting yourself with it because the, the epoxy is really, really tacky. And every time you bat it down now, it's going to pick up some more epoxy and put it on edge. So not like on edge, like it has an attitude kind of edge, but on the edge of the glitter. Just wanted to clarify that. Uh, <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I mostly do soap videos, but hey, I'm, I'm enjoying this Tumblr thing. If y'all give me some suggestions, I'll be happy to do some more. Yeah, hit that like button if you like this, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later.